here. As you are planning, it's also going to be very important for you to have the right permissions to do the migration. Generally speaking, very simple rule of thumb, on your source environment, you always need to be site collection administrator. Unless you're moving really just content and you might not need permissions where their full control might be enough. But generally speaking, if you don't want to make it complicated, site collection admin on your source. And on destination, it's going to vary a little bit. If you're moving to sites that already exist, you also need to be site collection administrator there. If they don't exist, you're going to need SharePoint administrator uh, so that we can connect to your central admin URL and be able to create the site collections as we do migrations. If you're moving to teams or copying teams, that's also another scenario that's very common now with the tenant to tenant migrations. Well, there's a little bit higher permissions. You need to be SharePoint admin plus Teams admin on source and destination or global admin uh, on both. And one more thing, there's an Azure app for migration, a ShareGate Azure app that you need to consent to so that ShareGate gets access to the Microsoft Graph, which allows us to basically retrieve the information we need on your Teams and your 365 groups so that we can do the migration.